how's it going? My name is Kayla and this is Wild Wonders Homestead and today I'm going to show you how I made the stackable planner. So I got these pots. They're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Um, it took me 12 pots right there to make one that size which comes to like my eye height and I'm 5'5". Five five. And I'm just going to show you how I made them. How I made them a little more durable and sturdy. This is what I'm calling the poor man's green stock. If you are unfamiliar with the green stock planners, um, they're basically a, a better quality nicer made larger version of this um, but they're a little bit out my price point right now so we're gonna make do with what we can and I feel like this will be very pretty right here they have different colors at the Dollar Tree you can also order some online and I'm also gonna show you how I make them a little more sturdy so I fed them on a t-post I'm also show you how I cut the hole out the bottom for that and here we go to put a few of them right here so far I'm gonna have two this height and then I also have one that's left over from last year that I used uh, to grow like lettuces and some zinnias during the summer I'm gonna put it down here but it's only I think like four or five high and I'm I think it'll look beautiful right here I think it'll look really nice with the different colors I don't really have much going on in this spot anyways one day I would hope to add uh, maybe another ci citrus tree or an apple tree because I do have an apple planted on the other side of that porch and then a citrus right here but I don't have any to cross pollinate but in any anywho this is what I want to put right here for now okay so the first thing I am doing here is take off the stickers and then they have these like perforated holes at the bottom and you can just take um something with a little sharp tip I'm using like old screw and you can just pop them out like that and the way you do that, you kind of just push on that, like, where the edge is, you know, kind of where they thin the, the plastic so you can poke it through. That's, that seems to be what is the easiest way to poke them through. Also, if you're not doing it upside down, it's a little bit helpful. It's actually not very hard to do, especially the easiest way to do it is if you hold it upside down like this. It's a little bit quicker, too. But because I'm a lunatic, I can't leave them just bent in like that. I have to take everyone out. You can do what you please. You also um, can probably get away with just punching one or two holes out if you have maybe a hotter, drier climate. That way, these will retain a little bit more moisture. But if you maybe get a lot of rain or you're wanting it to drain a little bit, if you want it to drain better, then you can do all the whole thing. Next, like, prep thing that you need to do for here is, I, since I, I definitely recommend putting them on, like, a, a T-post or even, um, you could do a dowel. You could take a freaking long stick or something and, uh. Can I do a different job? Yep. Yeah. Hold on a second. You could even take like a, a long, like a longer stick and drive it into the ground and, and feed these through. If I had one of those uh, drill bit things that you can cut like a doorknob hole out of that's smaller, um, I would use that to cut the circle out just because that would have been probably quicker. But because... Alright, so next what I'm going to do is take this tool to cut out an X in the center. You could probably use a razor blade. I wouldn't recommend using a drill bit because I tried that and these are pretty brittle. And I broke a couple of them, which is hurting my heart, but I'm still going to use them for now. Uh, until they break on me. No, don't unplug that. And then, I also like the X. I, at, first I, at first, I tried cutting half moons out, but they would get brittle and break. And it really wasn't working out that easily to cut out. So cutting an X like this prevents the dirt from falling out of this hole quite as much as if I did a full circle. I did try doing half moons earlier and I ran into this kind of crack in further out. So I think this way is probably going to work the best. If you do end up going for the 12 pot stack high and are using a T-post, I will say the one, the last one to two planters don't actually slide onto the T-post. So depending on how far you drive it down, we'll decide whether or not you need to actually drill a hole in the last two. So I know for me, the I'm only going to leave one without doing the hole, but I'm going to do the other 11. So I started to put in the T-post and then I decided to go grab the planters and kind of position exactly where I would want them before I put the post in. And then I just kind of leveled out the ground um, so that they would sit flush. 
So when you're sliding these on, you do want to keep in mind that they are, are kind of staggered. So whenever you feed them on, you don't really want to twist them to the right position. You want to kind of feed them on that way. So as you can see, I'm feeding these on the post. It would be probably easier to fill these up with dirt while you're doing it, but I don't have the dirt prepared or ready to put in here yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this part of the project so nothing happens to these in the meantime. But if you can kind of see, I like to angle it where the triangle, like that, uh, feeds on into the pole. They do get brittle if you, these can break. Um, and I've had a couple of them break on this one that I, when I was working on it, if you can see right there, I snapped a piece off of that, but I'm just going to fill it up with dirt anyways. And then if you can see, this is the 11th tier and the T-post just barely goes in it. So this top one, I wouldn't have actually needed to put a hole in. Um, and that just depends on how far you drive in your T-post stack that I already have as you can see it has some like sun damage but this one is at least one or two years old hat was in full sun all year and it's still holding up so this one I'm not going to do the whole t-post thing just because I am I don't want to empty out the dirt if I go to plant this or add more layers to it or something I probably will do it in that case but for now I'm just going to leave it like this and move it down there these are all finished um I do ha I don't have dirt in the two taller ones yet but That'll be a project that I'll get to sooner than later. This one does have dirt because I already had existing plants. I had lettuces. They end up dying off with that Arctic frost or whatever. But I'm very happy with them. These are pretty heavy, but they can get a little unstable like because they are heavy. Um, so I do think there's major benefit in, of doing that T-post in the middle. I do think the top one will be heavy enough to not worry about it falling off. But I feel very confident that with dirt, this is gonna be a really sturdy, this will be a really sturdy structure. And that is all. If, and that's all for this video. Please consider subscribing if you are new. You could also like this video if you enjoyed it. All of those things I listed are free ways that you can support my small channel. And I will catch y'all next time. Thank you.